This is Block 11, Reagan's Revolution, Section 4, Reagan's Cold War, with a section, Troubles in Latin America. Latin America is a hotbed of communist versus anti-communist activity in the 1980s. 1983, let's start there, uh, the tiny nation of Grenada uh, suffered a Marxist coup. Uh, Reagan was unwilling to see communism spread any further in Latin America, uh, and Reagan sent an American invasion force uh, which restored the former government to power. That was in 1983. That sent a very powerful message to the world, and the message to the world that Reagan sent was that the post-Vietnam era of American um, retreat was over, that the United States was once again willing to flex its military muscles um, to prevent the spread of communism in and around uh, the Caribbean. That had a lot to do with the, the nation of Nicaragua. In 1979, or in 1978, uh, Nicaragua had a pro-U.S., Western-oriented, anti-communist government that was overthrown in 1979 uh, by a group known as the Sandinistas. President Carter tried to work with the Sandinistas, who are Marxists, um, but Reagan was unwilling to do it. He said the Sandinistas are they're just like Castro. They are, you know, murdering the opposition. They are killing priests. They are uh, instituting, you know, they are Cuban advisors are all over Nicaragua. Uh, they're training uh, the Sandinista military. They're giving advice to the Sandinista government. Um, Reagan says we are not, if we can avoid it, we are not going to have the Sandinistas uh, in charge uh, in Nicaragua. So what Reagan did was he tried to find a way. Uh, he said that the Sandinistas were a forward base for the Soviets and the Cubans in Latin America. Uh, and from Nicaragua, they could destabilize uh, Mexico and Costa Rica and Colombia. Um, so Reagan tried to find a way to help uh, the anti-Sandinistas in Nicaragua. And they were known as uh, the Nicaraguan Democratic Front uh, and the United States, they were known as the Contras. They were the Contra Revolutionaries, the Counter Revolutionaries. Uh, and we can see from this map that in 1987, uh, Nicaragua is a seriously divided nation. That the red area was under the control of the Sandinista government, the kind of green, pukey color area was under the control of the Contras. Reagan wanted to send money, support, and help to the Contras to keep Nicaragua out of Marxist, Communist, Cuban, Soviet hands. By the mid-1980s, though, uh, progressives in the United States were actively campaigning against the Contras and in favor of uh, Daniel Ortega and the Sandinistas. Um, and there's a lot of decent reasons for that, that the Contras had committed pretty nasty atrocities, uh, as did the Sandinistas. They were both guilty of that. Um, the Democrats had regained control uh, of both houses of Congress uh, by the mid-1980s. Um, and over President Reagan's veto, uh, the Democrats passed a law saying that the United States could no longer arm, could no longer supply the Contras. Reagan could not believe this. He thought it was purely a political uh, attack on him, and he constantly asked Congress to reconsider the ban. He said, let us arm the Contras, let us arm the Contras, they're losing. We don't want to lose Nicaragua to, you know, Cuban and Soviet communism. Uh, but Congress constantly rebuffed uh, his requests, and they refused to provide any more American support uh, for uh, the Contras in Nicaragua.